Hey guys, how are we going? Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in Stormfall, a saga of survival. Hope you guys are well. Rightio, so what I want to do is I want to get into the uh, woodlands. I need wood and that's what we're going to do. So the focus of uh, this video today is sort of jumping back in there. But reason why I want to do that is I actually want to craft up the he uh, heavy armor but <clears throat> excuse me to do that i need a few things so i need wood which is going to be the main focal point why is because i need steel and why does that sort of you know connect is because i need charcoal so i don't have enough charcoal i need wood that's what uh, needs to happen but it also needs me to, um, to get enough wood planks so i can create water barrels uh, so I can actually make the steel plate along with oil and I believe uh, the anthracite. Anthracite is easy to come by. Uh, the oil is not too bad. I can get a decent amount, but I do need um, a lot of fresh herbs for that to happen. So yeah, look, it does take a little bit to get these um, uh, materials done, but I just want to sort of get my own set. So, you know, for the sake of having it, and to say that I've got it, I guess. I think that's the reason why. But also, I sort of don't ultimately want to rely on the um, uh, the armor sets and things like that that you win as well as per, you know, uh, quest uh, reward when you do your XP event. So right now I'm rocking the adventurer set. So two star, not too shy about that. I do have a legendary set, uh, set that I haven't got um, to use just yet, but um, pretty much... I just sort of, you know, thought it'd be nice to actually use some of the intended game, um, you know, uh, armor and equipment. So I think that might be, you know, the way to go with that. So that's why I wanted to sort of come through today. But also, I do need charcoal for the upcoming XP event as well. But I think we are in a in the greens to skip this one because we did it last week. And that's where we got the Adventurer's uh, Legendary set. So I think... For this week, I think we're going to sort of tread lightly and just sort of skip it and then just sort of move on from there and then go hard the, the next event. I didn't need any one of those. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well as well. Um, you know, look, it has been so long since we haven't had an update and I didn't, you know, realistically do a video last week and purely because, I mean, look, there's only so much content that I can sort of put out and, oh, okay. Looks like I can't actually open up any of the chests, um, which is an annoying bug that has been in the game for so long. Um, not a big fan of that whatsoever. Let's just jump and grab that. And let's just start using a bit of our wand and magic. Anyway, yeah, so <clears throat> um, quite a few things that the developers need to sort of address. One being uh, the, the issue about opening up chests, which you are... Uh, absolutely not so ever able to do i'm pressing two buttons here one in the middle just to actually open up the little icon there which i can't and obviously the little um uh, this little thing here that i'm pressing as you can see <laughs> anyway i'm hoping that you know the next month or in next month i guess because i doubt that any time at the end of this month that we're actually going to get the new update i mean it is the end of september and we're sort of pretty much rushing right into October as it stands. So I'm hoping possibly, you know, first week or two into October that we might see a new update. Really hope that that does happen. But look, we haven't had an update since uh, July, so it's been quite, quite a long time. The developers are still around and they are, you know, um, they are still working away on the game. So. The, the biggest thing I sort of probably want to recap from my, from my previous video was essentially that they've done a lot of um, internal upgrades or made strides to make a lot of internal upgrades. So they've recently added on, well not added on, but <clears throat> uh, set the framework to set up a new uh, gaming engine, I believe it was. And that's going to hopefully allow us to, well, allow the developers, I guess in a sense, to further enhance the game the way that they really envisioned it to be or what they want it to be, I guess, in a way. And pretty much give us the 
you know, um, the opportunity to take advantage of that through the use of game updates. And I think that's basically where that's going to be at. And for now, we sort of got to sort of sit tight and hopefully once that all becomes all said and done, we'll, um, you know, be able to start playing as we have been, you know, in the past with new updates and things like that. So why have they sort of taken that long? You know, the engine could mean a, a, a mass amount of things. So I guess a, a good theory to sort of put into it would be um, when you sort of look at the multiple levels that they've been uh, teasing about, let's say, the, the new dungeon. So we're looking at a six dungeon level as what they've been... Um, pretty much teasing for the longest time. So when, when you sort of look at that, it, it's got to take a serious amount of um, gaming power for the game to handle you know, that amount of levels. So doing things like the, the tunnels, the underground areas, the three level cursed forest, I think that's pro probably the capacity, the old or current engine, depending on where they, they're, they are at with it at the moment, um, has its met its limitation. And I think that's probably a good thing to sort of bring up right now, because if it's met its limitation, the game can't progress. And if the game can't progress, meaning that there can't be any updates that's going to sort of impact the game, uh, the game's quality, um, the ability for us as players to play the game. And I think that's probably a very important thing to sort of touch on. So that's why I'm sort of bringing that up now. And hopefully, you know, with this new gaming engine, it sort of opens up the capacity for us or for the developers to actually uh, make use of that and bring us big updates such as, you know, a six-tier dungeon. And if that basically is needed and what it takes, then that's what it, that's where it needs to be, I guess, at the end of the day. So, but, you know, we sort of can't sort of discount the fact that they've sort of taken so long to actually make any sort of strides or updates. There was a minor update earlier on in the month, which was just sort of like a patch update to try and amend and fix some sort of bugs and issues here and there. But other than that, realistically, nothing else has been sort of um, uh, mentioned. Even, you know, the community manager on Discord, we have been hammering him for quite a bit. And I think we've had to sort of stop because there's been absolutely nothing to sort of, you know, give and... Unfortunately, there's no teasers, nothing that we can sort of, you know, give out to you guys. I really wish there was some sort of concept art or something that we can sort of, you know, uh, show you guys. And at least it gives you some sort of reassurance, but also it shows you guys what they've actually been working on. So <clears throat> I really wanted to reach out to, um, you know, to the devs and, you know, see if they can give us some sort of information or at least some sort of teasers as to, you know, what they're sort of working on next. And at least that way we can sort of, you know, have something to uh, look forward to. And I think that's probably a big thing to sort of, um, you know, um, give back to the community as well, because at least you guys know what's going on. And it, if there's something in the pipeline, at least that way we have something. It's not like we don't have anything at the moment, which we actually don't right now. But if we had something, then at least we can show you. But believe me, if there was something there, no matter how small it was or how big it might be, um, yeah, I'd 100% let you guys know straight up. Make a full video about it. Get down to the nitty gritty. Theorize, you know, um, gives, you know, our, what we make of it and all that sort of stuff. Because I used to love doing all that sort of stuff back in the day when the updates were a lot more, um, you know, um, readily available where we used to get real pretty much month on month every single month with that we used to you know receive updates things like that and it was awesome and I, I loved it and you know when we you know got given concept art here and there it was awesome because at least that way we can show you guys up front uh, something to sort of um, get excited for if it was and you know when it dropped it dropped and you know we sort of go into the notion where we write <laughs> you know and yeah I guess Unfortunately, that it's sort of a little bit too far in between at the moment. So we're really hanging on for something to happen soon. But we really don't know, to be honest, at this point. So it's really hard for us to sort of, you know, give you any sort of proper information. So, you know, as much as we really want to do that, we just honestly can't at this point in time. So 
what I'm doing now is I'm just going to dump a few of these uh, in here and we'll go back and just continue to you know loot up the forest as you do we've got enough materials to get all this done but yeah sort of neglected you know getting enough wood which is something that I really don't do all the time but it's happened and I've been focusing so much on getting a lot of stone so I can make stone blocks so we can get the circle of power um, turned over over and over again uh, more or less just for the XP challenge so yeah but anyway um, hope, hopefully you guys are still enjoying the content of the game um, that I'm putting out personally so I think it's probably good good time to sort of reflect as well because I did take you know that one week off and I sort of wanted to try and sort of bring up bring up to speed all of my other games and not just so much you know a couple of games here or there so that's pretty much the reason why I've sort of you know I took a little bit of a step back for a bit and um, I like to think I got an okay amount of um, you know uh, content out well not content so much but more or less um, just sort of rebuilding um, you know all the games that I'm playing but you know just getting enough so I've got a little bit of content to make I think that's probably more important to sort of call out and hopefully you guys sort of appreciate that too I mean there's especially when we don't have active updates you know for a lot of games or certain games here and there it just makes life a little bit hard you know to sort of get the job done but as much as we want it to be you know there's only so much that we can you know kind of do anyway unfortunately i can't open anything right now so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take what i want and we'll um we'll head back home drop a few things off and we'll sort of get going to another zone and yeah We'll sort of try and loot up what we can. I might actually go to a camp. I actually haven't done a camp for a while. So you know what? Let's dump everything at home. And um, yeah, let's go loot up the camp that we've got over here. We'll see what we can get from that. And um, what will I take with me? I might just leave the, the axe with me because I know I can break down. Uh, the doors and things like that quite easily, but I do need a weapon, so I might have to reach into my inventory for that one there, but that shouldn't be a problem. Let's, uh, let's quickly get back into base and, um, yeah, oops, Ancient Ruins, yeah, that'd be nice once we get accessibility to uh, tame ourselves a dragon, because I think that'd be absolutely insane once, if and when that ever happens, so I guess that's you know, a greater concept, you know, that will hopefully happen in future for this game. Um, that looks a little bit different. The the little take button, I haven't seen it glow like that before. And trust me, I've been playing this game for such a long time. Little things here and there, I know, if you know what I mean. Like, I I know if there's been minor changes here and there, I'll, I'll be able to point it out and tell you guys straight up. So, yeah, that that'll be, that's something definitely... I will um, definitely call out if it's needed to call out. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and drop off. Oops, yeah, we'll leave you there for now. And drop off this. And do I need anything else? I think I'll be okay. I did say I needed to get a weapon. What shall I claim? I think I've got another one star. Yeah, you know what? Let's just take the crossbow instead. I was going to say there was a... Oop, what's going on? And this is the result of me not able to get out of the game because it's now buggy and glitchy. Yep. There you go, guys. Living proof. I am definitely not immune when it comes to these sort of things. Um, yep, I'll be right back. Alrighty, and we're back again. Sorry about that, guys. As you can see, something like that was completely out of my reach. Was not able to sort of um, resolve that matter. But anyway, we're back. And yeah, we're actually in the camp right now. So I just want to, yeah, just muck around in here and just see what type of loot that we can get our hands on. Right now, we're just belting our way through and absolutely destroying anything and everything. Um, that come my way. And to be honest with you, it may not be 
completely on the necessity side just to, you know, take everyone out as I am right now. But, hey, you know what? I can do it, so why not? So let's absolutely make a mess out of everyone here. And, um, oop, no, no, no. Let's just walk around here. And, ah, there you are. Thank you very much. All right, so let's walk our way in. Just take our time and hopefully we'll get some decent loot. But I haven't been in a campsite for a very long time. It's been so damn long. So, yeah, kind of interested to see what we actually get from it. So, no, no, take you out. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm not going to loot anything just yet. And hopefully the restart has actually resolved the issue of not being able to loot anything <clears throat> beforehand. So let's see if that has actually, uh, you know, fixed itself. But what I do want to do is I just want to do that and take you out. Thank you very much. And I don't think there's anyone else here. All right. So let's, no, I didn't want to leave. Anyway, we'll get back in there in a sec. Uh, let's just do that. Thank you. Alrighty, so let's go back in. Okay, so let's just start taking out one of these. Oh, right, let's just take out one of these walls. Ah, you are definitely immune, so here comes the hatchet. And the hatchet does wonders for you here. Alright, can we loot? Yes, we can. Okay, good. So what I'll end up doing is I'll, um, off camera, naturally, is I'll probably run back to the woodlands and loot up the chests that I wasn't able to beforehand. To be honest, I don't expect to get anything decent. So the camp has really, really changed in the last time that I've actually, you know, looted the place. And as you can see, I think it's one of these zones now when you're more early in game, it's probably a good idea to sort of, you know, stop by here from time to time and loot up what you can, because I mean, it is quite, easy and more accessible there are granted there are a couple of other versions of the campsite map that you can get um, uh, given to you so it's all obviously randomly generated once that actually happens so you'll know uh, when it all happens kind of thing so for now we'll just um, loot what we can <clears throat> and we'll um, yeah we'll probably call it a day after this oh nice so that right there people um, five pieces of charcoal is a full stack of wood. So yeah, uh, take that in a heartbeat guys. So, so part of the reason why sometimes when you do come into some of these zones, you do get lucky and get some things like charcoal here. I'm hoping to get some hay because I am quite low. I haven't actually used my horse in quite a long time as well. And to find hay or to let alone craft it is hard to get. And it does require a bit of resource in doing so. For me, I really don't want to craft hay. Um, it is quite expensive to do and the resources required. You need a lot of rushes, but also more importantly, you do need water barrels. And to be honest, the way that I've set up uh, myself, clan wise and everything else, it's not the best way to, um, you know, uh, craft. So you may as well just try luck and find them in zones. That'd be the best way of doing it. This is probably going to be the only thing that you're going to, you know, prevent yourself from getting into if you guys are very low in terms of level wise. If you haven't got accessibility to high level equipment to break down walls such as that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's basically quite a quite an easy zone to get into. Goblins, um, what else was there? Wolves. Wolves are going to be the only thing that's going to give you any sort of um, issues. There is a trap in here, so you don't really need to worry about it too much to be honest <clears throat> I would not even bother attacking that if you really had to you just want to sort of hug the um the, the edges of uh whoop, if I can double click of the sides here and just start looting because ultimately you won't get bothered <clears throat> if anything you will get hit maybe once or twice um if you're trying to sort of hug the line there but see how you go I mean for people that have played this for quite a long time I mean you guys don't really need to worry about this uh, let alone run the zone if you have to if you don't need to 
But anyway, otherwise from that, if you've taken out the whole zone, uh, enemy wise, you probably may as well want to loot up the whole place if you want to, uh, you know, uh, grab the available resources that are about. So yeah, you definitely want to do that. And yeah, because if you look at it, there's a bit of, um, what were they down here? So you got some stone. I think there was some iron ore as well. And obviously you got some trees, so you may as well go ahead and just take out all the trees. So yeah, that's what I would do if I were you. But you know, otherwise I think this is probably a, a really good stepping stone if you really wanted to jump into uh, the camp zone and to loot it all up. What I might actually do is I might actually make another video just solely on the campsite and I'll do it from my uh, noob account. And rather than, you know, showing you on here predominantly, I think it might be a good idea doing it at length, but this that was realistically a quick run through anyway. But hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. That's all the time I've got here for today. But as always, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you guys are new to the channel. Comment down below as always. Anyway, take it easy. Catch you next time.